Hello and welcome to another video. Seablaze Vibe 3 HR is the watch we have here today. It comes nicely packed in a plastic wrapped box and on the back here we have some specifications. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Here we have the watch, another cardboard box and some foam protection. Looks very nice. Let's see what's inside this box. It's the charging cable, which is magnetic. It works quite well. But if you move the watch around while it's charging, the cable might fall out. Here's the watch, we will have a look at it in a bit. The user manual is in English and is very short. It basically only shows you how to turn the watch on and how to set it up. Now let's get back to the watch itself. First, let's just remove this blue tape here. On the back is the charger connection and HR sensor. Again, let's remove some more plastic. The back is made of stainless steel. It has a pedometer, HR sensor and is IP67 waterproof. The design is exactly the same as the original Vibe 3. The case is metal and so are the buttons. The bands are rubber and of quite good quality. There's some more protection, let's just remove that and turn the watch on. The screen looks very nice and colors are good. This is a 1.22 inch IPS display. It is not touch sensitive, so we have to use the buttons. The main screen has three different watch faces to choose from. Let's test the watch for a while and see how it performs. So I've been using the watch now for about two weeks and gotten used to it and its function. So let's just jump straight into it. Here on the main screen, we can see steps, heart rate, Distance, calories, connection status, battery status, time, date, and day. The watch face can be changed by clicking the power button, and that's the HR sensor blinking in the back. The three watch faces show almost the same information and gives a nice choice with different styles. Hopefully there will be more watch faces available in a software update later. Buttons on the right side are used to move up and down in the menu. Here you can see steps, calories, distance, HR, sleep monitoring, messages, sports, timer, find your phone, and power options. The only menu options you can actually interact with directly from the watch are heart rate, you can start it by clicking the power button, You can read messages, again click the power button, then buttons on the right to move between the messages. Yeah. 
In sports, you can select a type of activity, for example running, walking, badminton, etc. But these activities are not saved in the app as a separate activity, so it's kind of a useless function. Because as soon as you close it, it's gone forever. It gives you a visual view of your exercise and that's it. You also have a timer, you click the power button to select and again to start. And stop and write it to reset. Find your phone. The sound is from my phone. Power options lets you turn on or off the watch. So here's the app, which is called Wear Health. Let's just pull down on the screen to sync with the watch. The main screen shows you your step count and how far you have come on reaching your target. The sports section shows you the distance and calories. Sleep shows how much you slept last night. HR is your average heart rate. If you open sports, you can see some more options at the top here. You can see your activities based on day, week and month. The graph shows you each hour of the day and you can click it to get an exact number at any time. You can also cycle through different days at the top. The week and month view will show you a graph separated by days and you can also click this to see the exact data. The sleep function shows you how many hours you slept and the quality of your sleep. You can also slide your finger across the graph to see more exact data. Here you can see how many hours you slept light, deep and when you were awake. And at the bottom is a percentage of reached target. My target is set at 8 hours, so I didn't reach it this specific day. And I was awake one time. Also here you can cycle through the different days at the top. You can also see weekly data and monthly data. The HR screen is the same as the others, and you can here see your heart rate data and swipe with your finger to see more exact. The heart rate sensor will read your heart rate every 10 minutes if you have it turned on in the app. Here you can see the average heart rate while sleeping, normal average, highest and lowest. Also here you can cycle through previous days. At the bottom we have some more options, for example this sport, 
allows you to do GPS tracking via the app. The care option lets you add friends if you know someone who uses the same app. The mine option is where you set your preferences and where you control the watch. Here you have your personal data like height, weight, etc. Your steps target, sleep target. Here's the settings for the watch, battery status, notifications, etc. The alarm is set from here. It's a vibration alarm only and it's uh, quite good. Shake snapshot is the same as remote camera on other watches. Time device will make the watch blink and vibrate. Let's try the snapshot function. It's actually quite a good function because you only shake your hand and the camera will start a 3 second delay before taking the picture. After using this watch for about 2 weeks and been wearing it 24 hours a day, I feel that the material quality is very good, it's also very comfortable to wear and the screen is gorgeous. The colors are vibrant and the text is clear. The battery life is about 4 to 5 days with everything turned on. If you turn off Bluetooth, heart rate, etc., it should last about 7 days. Most of the functions are read only on the watch, so there's not much you can do directly from the watch itself, but that's expected as this is not a full smartwatch. This is a lot of watch for the money and very good purchase. I recommend it. Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe for more videos.